This is Carol Harnett with my last one take work love play daily video ball from Hawaii and my favorite spot for watching surfing and surfing and occasionally getting in there myself. And my favorite place I like to run and walk and hike up to every day at the peak of Diamond Head Road. I actually went down we got all the way to the other end today. So apologize the appearance. Um, but here's what I've learned. Yesterday I had the privilege of doing a lot of work in Hawaii and getting to spend time with um, some of my favorite people, including Bobby Pang, who I met for dinner last night, and got the biggest compliment all day, which is that I'm not like a local Howley, which is, is a great compliment and also a part of the Tsalhana, which um, again is a great compliment. And it led me to this post, which I'm calling Hawaiian Time. And there's a, a joke about what Hawaiian Time is. And that's, you know, if you say you're going to be at 6 o'clock, it could be 6 15, it could be 6 30. This way to the amount of time perhaps that people need to get to where they need to be or want to be. And I get, I guess I'm at this point defensive uh, of Hawaii and protecting their reputation. A lot of people say they're so far behind the times, they're so far behind the mainland. And there's elements of that that are true. But we forget, at least as far as employee benefits go, that Hawaii has been providing employer based uh, or, or poor, poor, poor provided health care for decades. We keep talking about Massachusetts and actually Hawaii has been doing it decades and decades longer and there are tons of lessons that they have learned in how to do that and what the strengths are and what the pitfalls are. So in many, many ways, Hawaii um, is ahead of us in the benefits of Mino, at least in the most challenging and difficult topic. There are certainly areas that they are quote unquote behind on. Uh, they were still interested in information on the Americans with Disabilities Act and return to work and still are currently where many people on the mainland think that's kind of passe or been there, done that. So what it leads me to is that it takes time to get to the change you potentially want to make. And I have been presenting here for eight years. I um, pushed them a little too hard, I think in some respects in my first presentation, they were so accepting and so wonderful, and they made it very clear to me if I wasn't willing to invest in them, they were willing to invest in me. And I spent the years coming back here and doing presentations on the ADA and return to work when I even thought it was somewhat passe. But what I've realized over the eight years is I gave them my hardest hitting presentation yesterday, and they were so open and so interested and discussed more than any group so far. It took eight years of investment and time for them to think about what I was saying and others were saying to say, you know, I think it might be time to do it. And I think it's the same with all of us. We just need some time to get to a big change. We still not may be able to make it, but to at least consider it. And I think that's the challenge with health and wellness and prevention initiatives. We have a hard time wrapping our head around the amount of time it takes people to get there. Just to try.